These are age-related changes in kidney function. There are first structural and functional changes. You have a 30 to 45% decrease in functioning nephrons. Your renal blood flow decreases 10% per decade after age 40. And you have a progressive decline in your glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. Some of these changes manifest on lab values. There is one stable parameter that doesn't always change with age. Creatinine remains relatively unchanged. This is because you have a concurrent decrease in lean body mass, and creatinine is therefore a poor indicator of renal function in your elderly. So what happens with creatinine is that creatinine comes from your muscle, and your muscles get smaller as you get older. You have a decrease in lean body mass. You also have a decrease in GFR, a decrease in the amount of stuff filtered from your body. So even though your creatinine production is decreasing, you're also filtering less of it into your urine. Um, so because of that, there's a concurrent decrease in lean body mass and a GFR, your creatinine remains relatively unchanged. Because your creatinine is unchanged as you get older, it's not a good indicator of renal function. The better indicator is GFR itself, your glomerular filtration rate itself. It's the most reliable and it accounts for age-related changes. Again, better predictor than creatinine alone. There are some other age-related changes that might relate to the kidney. Um, hemoglobin decreases, insulin increases, glucose, your fasting levels increase, triglycerides increase, albumin decreases due to poor liver function and suboptimal nutrition in older people. BUN may increase slightly. But again, despite all these, your best indicator for age-related changes in renal function is your GFR. Again, key point, your creatinine often appears normal. Your GFR is the best assessment tool.